Tallahassee, Florida. Doesn't do much scoring, but he's in the starting lineup tonight. Well, it's Jawan Long, not Griffin, Todd. We, we, apparently, we got the wrong information. So here we go. The Red Hawks will start on offense first as they win the tip. Anthony Allison, wing right. Watch the Red Hawks as they work a lot of shot clock. That's what they have been doing lately since winning back-to-back -back games at Eastern Illinois and SIU Edwardsville. A wide open three for Anthony Allison. Book it to start the ball game. Well, it's so vital that you start out well, especially against Murray, Eric. Go back to January 22nd. The Racers were up quickly 31 to 6 at the bat of an eye, and the Red Hawks had no chance. Here is B.J. Jenkins teeing up a three. Spins around the cylinder and out. Jenkins is seventh in the league and made threes on the offensive end. Cameron Butler has his shot blocked, and here come the Racers. It's Jawan Long, wide right, and now he'll work it out front. Directing traffic with a right hand. Jawan Long out of Jackson, Tennessee. And he's been shooting the ball very well this season for them. B.J. Jenkins plays out front for Jeffrey McLean, who right now will act as their big man along with Edward Daniel down low. They've got very athletic bigs. They are working some shot clock here. Isaac Miles, curls foul line, now comes into the paint. Fanned back out to the perimeter. 25 foot three by Jenkins, no good. Good defense for the Red Hawks, and the loose ball is picked up by Southeast's Marlins. Violation. They are unable to handle the basketball, and Murray State gets a second straight possession. Inbounds play comes to Jawan Long. Now it's Isaac Miles. Miles transferred from Creighton, where he was a member of the all freshman team in the Missouri Valley Conference at Creighton coming off a 13-point game against Jacksonville on their one-point win Saturday. He's at the top of the key, slides it right to Jawan Law, the Jackson, Tennessee native, and the post feed to Edward Daniel is able to be banked home by Daniel, who is a guy that a lot of people around the league don't know, but he is a very effective big for Murray State. Absolutely, and Southeast caught napping. It was almost an alley-oop lob to the post, and he caught on the weak block and easily laid it in. Daniel, not a big score at seven per game, but he's in the top 15 in rebounds. He's seventh in the league in block shots. Six, seven, athletic. He's long and going. is scoring. However, he scored 13 against the Red Hawks January 25th, tied the second greatest scoring game he's ever had. And we get a foul away from the ball on the Red Hawks. So that is a turnover. This time, he was jockeying for position and got caught with an offensive foul. Isaac Miles shut off on a baseline drive, bounces out for B.J. Jenkins. Now driving the baseline is long and game against Todd. Southeast. Red Hawks, <laughs> January 22nd. Yeah, you so. talk, talk so much about scoring with Murray State. They went through the entire first three quarters of the season without one 20-point score in any game, Eric. And, you know, they recently did have a 20-point score, but that's mighty impressive. It just shows the great balance and the depth that Billy Kennedy has to work with. Here's an entry pass to the post for Butler. Had it stripped, but got it back. Anthony Allison now finds Lucas Nutt out front. 12 to shoot. Red Hawks do not panic when the shot clock runs down. That is what they are trying to do. Limit the offensive touches for Murray State. Here's a block shot as Lucas Nutt spun baseline. Quite a bit of height. Lucas listed at 6-1. Inbounds play. Marlon Smith knocking down an off-balance two-pointer at the shot clock buzzer. So Marlin hits his first shot, and that is usually good news. And he really had a good game against Murray State in the first meeting, Todd, 27 points. And yeah, that's when he was really asking for the ball, Eric, and he couldn't miss. Jeffrey McLean with a series of ball fakes against Cameron Butler leans in and banks it home. McLean transfer from Three Rivers Community College. By the racers out top, and this is a very physical, active team. They average something like eight steals per game. Eric, they're going to go after some loose balls. They're going to put tremendous ball pressure on you and try to make you make mistakes. Anthony Allison finds Marlon Smith wide left on the dribble. Bounce to the post. Here is Leon Powell. Spins baseline. Banks it home right at Jeffrey McLean. And the Red Hawks' leading score has given them the lead. 7-6 Red Hawks. 15-44 to play first half. We've got a media timeout coming up with the next whistle. They give Jawan Long a wide open 18-footer. 
He missed it, and then going for the rebound was Jeffrey. But they've got the depth to do it. They've got the athleticism to do it. Southeast trying to absolutely grind this game down to a halt, keep it a low-scoring affair, hang tough, hang tough, and then give himself a chance late maybe to pull it out. Marlon Smith has hit his first shot. That is usually a good sign for the Red Hawks. We'll see if that turns out to be the case. Entry pass, right post. Leon Powell gets around his man on the baseline, flips up a tough shot, got knocked down, no whistle. The shot would not go down. And Leon Powell thought that he might have drawn enough contact for a whistle, didn't get it. Here's a baseline feed, a drop step, and a finish for Edward Daniel. And now we get a whistle. And what's going to be the call here? of his young Red Hawk career so far. He is really becoming a factor. This is the Marcus Brister the Red Hawks thought they were getting when he transferred in from junior college. So he's hitting his peak right now. Brister had seven assists and seven rebounds in the loss against Moorhead State. Anthony Allison finds Marlon Smith, curls left of the lane, jumps up a shot in traffic and banks it home. And he is two for two. Marlon, who was actually benched Saturday night, only logged six first half minutes. Came back and hit three big second half threes late in the basketball game. Really got the message from head coach Dickie Nutt. And he has started strong against Murray State. Here comes Isaac Miles. Picks up the dribble, throws it to the post. Little bump, Jeffrey McLean leans in against Waylon Jones. The shot rattled out and there is Brister for the rebound. Red Hawks up 9-8. Lead pass Anthony Allison, deep left wing. Entry feed, left baseline. Powell spins around his man, banked it up, and it missed, but collapse on him. He still was able to split the two, Eric, draw the contact, and clock a foul against Murray State. They get it on the junior Ivan Aska down low. Red Hawks with two guys that aren't doing a lot of scoring, Jones and Brister. So where will the scoring come from here? This will be an interesting combination, this lineup, with Lucas Nutt on the bench. Anthony Allison picks up his dribble on the wing. Now it's Brister that takes over, right hash mark. He approaches between the legs on the dribble. He'll go one-on-one -on -one here with Isaac Miles down to the baseline, bank the shot up in traffic, rimmed out. No roll, gets tipped to Brister, comes down the lane, throws up an air ball. There's Powell, Leon finishes. Two offensive boards for the Red Hawks. Usually when you play Murray State, you will not. Inbounding it is B.J. Jenkins. Quick three won't go down for Isaac Miles and the Red Hawks run. Brister kicks it wide left, three by Lucas, off the front of the rim. Lucas is up to ninth in three-point shooting percentage, Todd, in this league. Top 10 three-point shooter, but he comes up short on his first. Sean Jackson into the game, junk hook over. Butler won't go, but an offensive rebound for Aska. His putback fails to fall. Now an offensive rebound for Isaiah Cannon. Eric, this is a, a grind em out game. Murray State isn't shooting worth a darn. The Red Hawks are rebounding. They're taking their open shots, and they're capitalizing on opportunity. Red Hawks have a three-point lead. It's 11-8. Lucas Nutt holding wing right against Isaiah Cannon. Lucas did not score in the game at Murray and had five turnovers, so he is fired up to play better against MSU. Left of the lane, down to the baseline against Cannon, shut off. Lucas in trouble, got to get rid of it, throws it away. Murray State has Lucas's numbers so far again. Isaiah Cannon to Ivan Aska, who slides it wide left for Isaac Miles around to Aska screen, tried to go pick it. Likewise, Waylon Jones takes a quick seat. Leon back into the mix with four early points. Dante Poole out of Mojave High School in Vegas. Took them to the state title game his senior year. They finished runner-up. 11-8. Red Hawks by three. Isaiah Cannon has yet to take a shot. Here comes a driving Isaac Roll line. And Southeast now meet rebounding Murray State 7-6. Two turnovers for Murray State. Three for Southeast. Red Hawks more active, too. I and mean, Murray doesn't have much energy so far here on the road. Entry feed to Leon Powell, who can finger roll. Led him perfectly, high percentage shot. Eric, he's the top shooting forward in all the nation as far as percentage, and you can just see why. He hangs around the bucket. He's got great moves, great basketball IQ, and absolutely knows how to finish. Leon Powell, when he has a chance to finger roll, you might as well just write down two points. Here is a nice give and go. And a finish for Sean Jackson, who has just checked into the game. Sean Jackson 
freshman from Live Oak, Florida. Went to Melody Christian High School down there. And he makes his presence known. Jackson averages about 10 minutes per game and about two points per game. So he has his average. 13-10 Red Hawks, a three by Marlon. Bang! Off the left side, Todd. He is three for three, seven for Marlin. The Red Hawks are up by six. 16-10. And so confident, too. Isaac Miles with a feeble effort defensively in his face. And Marlin says, take that from 22 feet away. Dante Poole plays out front for Isaac Miles. Now it's Isaiah Cannon. He'll approach. Very good three-point shooter. Instead, he'll perimeter pass right side. A pull-up three. Too strong by Isaac Miles. Rebounded by Leon Powell. Leon is the second leading rebounder in the conference. The only player in this league out rebounding Leon Powell is Kenneth Fareed, who is out rebounding every other player in Division I in the nation. 16-10, Red Hawks by a half a dozen. Marcus Brister snaps a pass right sideline for Lucas Nutt. Works Cannon around a screen. Now approaches at the top of the key. Slided left arc Brister. Tried to drive baseline. He was shut off by Dante Poole. Goes around the back pass to Butler, and he had his jam blocked Ooh. by Aska. What a block. What a play by Ivan Aska. All ball, all leather, and then Eric had the wherewithal to collect it in his hip with a loose ball. I mean, that's just an, and that is, that is the definition of rejection. That is a picture perfect <laughs> block. Cameron Butler scored one point against Murray State January 22nd and had his jam rejected here. Here comes Isaac Miles, lost the ball. Brister throw it ahead to Leon Powell. In against Cannon, finger rolled it home. Eight for Leon, and the lead is eight for the Red Hawks. It's 18-10. Out playing it, getting the crowd into this game, Eric, and this is what they have been waiting for. The Red Hawks shocking Murray at home. 8.45 on the first half clock. Isaiah Cannon, foul line, fall away, 15-footer, perfect. He's their top player. Last year's OVC Freshman of the Year sat the first seven minutes on the bench. You must be pretty deep if you can bring your leading scorer and a preseason all-conference player off the bench. Marcus Brister off of his lower leg. Isaiah Cannon trying to get the racers going here. Slides the pass left for B.J. Jenkins, directs traffic, throws it left baseline for Jeffrey McLean, who's back into the game. Now it's Jenkins, threw it to Dickie Nutt. And Dick coached <laughs> a coach nut out. Eligibility was gone 30 years ago. Still looks pretty sharp, huh? Oklahoma State, where Coach Nutt played his college ball, 18-12. Lucas Nutt out front, shot clock at 10. Cannon will come out to guard him. Lucas still 25 feet away, finds Marlin, pumps up a three. Little strong, long rebound. Leon Powell runs it down, fresh shot clock now. They try to strip it from him. Simo basketball at Yahoo.com will read your emails all throughout tonight's broadcast. SEMO basketball at Yahoo.com. Red Hawks with an 18-12 lead and the ball. Right block back to the basket. Powell finds Marlon Smith, comes down the lane. Drop it for Powell. Right baseline up and scores. Double digits already for Leon. All started he off the dribble drive, too, by Marlin, and they had to collapse on him. He dumped it over the top, and there was Leon to collect and score. Red Hawks have matched their largest lead of the game, eight points. It's 20 to 12, seven-minute mark. Cannon pulls up from 17, dropped the pass off. It got tipped. It's loose. They scramble. Diving for it. Allison, is he going to be tight? Eight with seven minutes to play in the first half, and they have taken advantage of playing smart basketball, and it's shown on the scoreboard. Marlon Smith is off to a hot start, seven points. Leon Powell has 10, and the only other Red Hawk to score is Allison with three. Here's Powell, single coverage, spins, missed the five-foot turnaround. 11 for Leon. He's the seventh leading scorer in the OVC at 15 per game. Red Hawks have their largest lead, nine points, six and a half to play. First half, B.J. Jenkins. Finds Isaiah Cannon, approaches against Nutt, gets a screen. Cannon accelerates into the paint, runs into Leon Powell. No whistle, a missed dunk by Edward Daniel, and Murray State comes up with a loose ball. It's Ivan Aska against Butler, fall away. Baseline shot somehow goes in for Ivan Aska. Well, that was lucky for Murray. Daniel had to leapfrog Leon, who was on the ground under the hole, Eric. That's why he missed the jam, and then Murray got the, the 